Hello, my name is Dr. Greg Willis, and I've put together a model of the brain to illustrate the relationship between the visual system and the Parkinson's disease system. Now, the visual system has three parts that we're interested in. The first is the primary optic tract, and that runs from the retina into the brain, and it's responsible for processing the visual information that, in fact, forms the picture. The second part of the system is called the accessory optic tract. That's shown here by the light blue. It goes from the retina into an area called, called the metathalamus, and that's responsible for processing information in regard to proprioception, which is how you orientate in space, and the second thing is things like balance. The third system is called the retinohypothalamic tract. That goes from the retina through the hypothalamus and up into the pineal gland. That's responsible for processing things such as reproduction and antioxidation. Now, as you can see, these two systems are very complex and very interrelated. So when we have a problem such as Parkinson's disease, where there is a deficiency of dopamine, we believe it's not simply a matter of dopamine loss, which is responsible for the symptoms that appear. And on the other hand, when we use dopamine replacement, we're not only affecting the amount of dopamine which is replaced in the negrostriatal dopamine system, or the Parkinson system, but we're also affecting the amount of dopamine in areas such as the retina, the lateral hypothalamus, areas of the subthalamic nucleus, and in the pineal gland. This is why we are interested in using light therapy, and it's why we are now focused on the role of the retina in Parkinson's disease.